And former President Trump making deportation threats. The Republican presidential candidate vowing to revoke Haitian migrants' legal status if he's elected again. And it's not the first time Mr. Trump has targeted Haitians as part of his anti-immigration stance. Local 10's Laren Livingston is joining us live from Miami with how the local Haitian community is now reacting. Laren. Louis, you pointed it out there. We spoke to a number of Haitian activists and community leaders, interviewed one on camera today, and they say this is all just an unfortunate case of deja vu. Absolutely, I'd revoke it and I'd bring them back to their country. It was former President Trump's answer when asked by a news outlet if he'd revoke TPS for Haitian migrants in Springfield, Ohio. Should he be elected president again? Unfortunately, racism and dehumanization has raised its ugly head once again. Paul Christian Namfi is the political director and lead organizer with Family Action Network Movement, a community organization. From the debate stage, the former president echoed false claims about Haitian migrants eating pets in Springfield, Ohio. And lest we forget the former president's 2018, why are we having all these people from s whole countries come here comment, referring to Haitian and African migrants. We see this as a way of them trying to delineate who is a legacy American, in their view, and who isn't. Temporary protected status has allowed hundreds of thousands of Haitians, along with migrants from other countries, to live and work in the U.S. for a designated amount of time without the threat of deportation. It was announced that Haiti's 2011 DPS designation would end in 2019 during the Trump administration. It was challenged in court and allowed to continue. The Biden administration extended TPS for Haitians in June, citing ongoing political, economic, and security issues in the country. Namfi says these latest comments are just further motivation. This is scapegoating. We are not going to allow that, and we are going to stick by our coalition communities to find a common path forward to say no to hate, no to dehumanization. And that community leader there says Haitians here who have the right to vote do so, and he's hoping that they exercise their right to vote at the polls come November. In the meantime, a different immigration parole program looks to be expiring under the Biden administration. That information and that word just came down this afternoon, and that could impact Haitians, Nicaraguans, Venezuelans, and Cubans, but TPS for those particular populations of people still in place. For now, we're live here in Little Haiti. Larry Livingston, Local 10 News. So many people living in